back to my channel. Today is an empties video. This is for the end of December. I try to do these a little more often so I don't have so many products to go through at the end of the month, but sometimes I just don't use a lot of empties. Uh, I have noticed in my past videos it's been every other month that I've done a video, but uh, this one I had enough to go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing, no surprise, it's another Desert Essence. This is the natural tea tree and oil uh, toothpaste. This is the wintergreen. I picked these off, off of Vitacost. They usually have a sale and they're around the $3 mark, whereas my store in town will be at like six. You might have already seen a Vitacost haul where I picked up three of these, so I definitely have more of these in stock. Another item that you might have seen in my last Vitacost video, and I will post a link of that down below, was the Everyone Soap for Everyone and Everybody. This is the three-in-one, the shampoo, the body wash, and the bubble bath. This is in the coconut and lemon. Absolutely love this. Don't really take baths, I will admit, and I'm not, I have used it as a shampoo, but I'm currently using their line of uh, Everyone Hair, and so far I'm really liking it. I picked up the Balance one, and uh, I put that in the last video, but this performs excellent for a body wash. I like this because it's not drying, and in Minnesota it's dry, cold air, and this works perfectly for that. So. This is a Desert Essence product. This is the thoroughly clean face wash for normal skin. I really love this. This has the tea tree oil in it and uh, sea kelp. I picked up a different one. It is the gentle one for uh, the more of the winter. This one I like in the spring and the summer when my face tends to be a little bit oilier. I will be repurchasing this again. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this or you a family or friend, but this is the Amazing Grace fragrance. I love the philosophy Grace line, Pure Grace and Amazing Grace, but I'm not sure if this is gluten-free. I've been, and I don't think it's food issues, but uh, I've been having a little bit of not feeling well, and I'm wondering if, it, if it's this because I've started using this again, and so yeah, I just want to go ahead and pass that on. Fragrances are really hard. I mean, you guys will know in if I Sephora or little hauls that I do, I will have fragrances, and I really end up gifting a lot of those because well, pretty much all of them are not using them because I have a hard time with fragrance. Just not sure if they're gluten-free and I end up feeling not well when I use them. So better safe than sorry on that front. And speaking of that, I am going to go ahead and gift or not gift. I'm going to give away to family or friends, whoever wants them. I have three of the color tattoos. I really like these, but... Um, Again, just now that I've discovered Red Apple and I know that their eyeshadows are 100% gluten-free, I don't want to take a chance on these. And so, yeah, I have it in Too Cool, Rich Mahogany, and Mossy Green. These have never been used, so a uh, family or friend will definitely, I'm sure, be happy to pick those up. Now, I did receive this as a points perk. I used, I'm not sure what else was in it from Bite. Um, but this was one of the things I thought that I could use, but I can't. These are the, uh, this was in pomegranate. Okay, 40-year-old eyes, and I cannot read that small print. Okay, time for bifocals, maybe? <laughs> or readers, or helpers, cheaters, whatever you want to call them. But this was one of the uh, high pigment lip pencils. This has tocopherol in it. I Sorry, they may say they're certified gluten-free, and I have to be really careful on that, but cannot use this because I do not feel well after using this. So um, that is going to a friend or family member. One product that I really like, you guys know I love this brand. This is Cover FX. This is the CC Cream. I got this as a, I think it was a promo code that you entered into Sephora, and then you were able to pick one of these up with your uh, purchase. And Yes, when they had their sale, the VIB sale, I placed a couple orders and I got three of these. I've used one of these. There was not much in this one, um, and I've noticed that when I got three, they did not all have the same feel as in weight, but this was at the end medium. I do love this color. I love the CC cream. This product is amazing, and I, I just cover effects. Their products, they're good for you ingredients in these uh, products, and you use this foundation or CC cream or their BB creams and they just do good things for your skin. So really, really love this and I already have a full size in this. So this is the Too Faced Bronzing Wardrobe. This contained the Chocolate Soleil, which I have used up and I do like this, but I prefer the milk chocolate. The regular Soleil is a little too dark for me. The milk chocolate definitely is better for my complexion, but I had not tried the Endless Summer. This is supposed to be a 16 hour long wear bronzer. 
it has a little bit of sheen to it. Not my favorite, and I don't ever wear my makeup 16 hours, so I can't attest to where if it is long wearing longer than that or that. But yeah, I didn't have anything bad to say about it. It, it was nice, and but I don't think I'll be buying a full size on that. One other beauty product that I have, this is the Quattro, the razors. You guys have heard me say, I believe it was in my last empties video, not a fan of these. They just, I mean, it's like two, three shaves and, and I'm done. And I shave my legs every day, so these were really expensive. I can't, yeah, I won't be picking up any more of those. So so that's it for beauty. Whoops. Um, food items that I'm going to share with you guys. I found these in the grocery store. I shop at Target. I love the Chalvani Greek yogurts. I just noticed these in my dairy aisle not too long ago. These are the indulgent line. They're made with whole milk yogurt. They're four and they're 3.5 ounces. These are just amazing for desserts. Uh, this is the banana and dark chocolate. I picked up the mint and dark chocolate. My older son absolutely loves mint, so this was his favorite. And I picked up the raspberry and dark chocolate. I believe these were the only three flavors that uh, my store had. Not a fan of this, the raspberry and dark chocolate. The raspberry flavor in this to me just was more mm, fakey than real raspberry, but um, I'm not even sure if it's, oh, it says raspberry puree, so it does have raspberry in it, but uh, yeah, not my favorite. I love the banana. I love the mint. The mint, oh my gosh, I put one of these as a suggestion from my son in the freezer for a while, and it was almost like ice cream. It was so great. And I don't know if you put it in there too long, it would become really hard not be able to, you know, use your spoon to eat it. But yeah, for, you know, like an hour, it was just, it was amazing. So I will definitely be picking up the banana and the mint again. I wanted to share that with you guys if you're looking for a gluten-free dessert that's more on the healthier side. And I absolutely love the Bakery on Main. This is the Strawberry Shortcake. I think there are four or five different flavors. My store only carries three of them. These are certified gluten-free. And this one is, like I said, the Strawberry Shortcake. I have the Blueberry. I'm not sure what the Blueberry. Blueberry something. And the Apple Pie. Those are the three. And flavored ones. Absolutely love those. Uh, you guys will probably see these popping up. Starting in January, I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day and I but uh, just so you guys know if you're gluten-free that was one of the things when I became gluten-free and gosh it would be two years because it was 2013 when I was diagnosed so a little over two years coming up I was thinking what in the world am I gonna eat so I hope that me posting what I eat will help you guys I will include some recipes in that now I will let you guys know this is what I've been filming over the month of December. I will be posting them in January, so I may mention December in there occasionally, but um, I will try to use or buy things that I can use throughout the week. Like, um, for instance, I have cottage cheese. I use that in a lasagna, and I also eat that for breakfast in the morning, so whatever's left over, I kind of incorporate for the following day or the couple days that I use those. So I will be posting recipes. It's my banana bread recipe, also the lasagna recipe. I hope that they are things that you guys find work for you. They are quick and easy recipes, things that do not take a long time. And yeah, I would really like to hear what you guys are eating, what you have found that works for you being on a gluten-free diet. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.